What's good with y'all boys? You already know it is one dollar. Come get you another video, man. Before we start this video, I'll praise you to the most high God. Make sure you guys are giving your life to your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. As well as guys, make sure you are like and subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram, man. Y'all see all my um damn, I'm pointing everywhere. Y'all see y'all see all my uh socials, man. Follow me on all of them, man. Give me some gas. Simple. But um, let's hop straight into it, man. Women do these things. Do these three things to handsome men on the first date now these are going to be funny because if you've been on the first day with a woman you know these are the things that she does and um me personally man i have just been weeding them out you know what i'm saying i've just been looking like okay she done this she done this too she done that she done this too you know it never fails i have literally before i made this video I just compiled a whole bunch of times I've had a girl over to the crib and pretty much no matter whether they looked at, I'm putting it this way, no matter if they was a six a seven or eight, they all did these exact same things guys. And the thing you are going to notice is this stuff is going to become a pattern. And now that I'm making this video for you guys, you are not going to have to really worry about anything like that. And also, before I even hop straight into things, I want y'all to understand something. Women don't do this with every man. Women doing that to you because they find you very attractive, G. They doing this to you because they find you very attractive. They don't just do this off the rip. You know what I'm saying? They do this when they find you very attractive. These are three things that they are going to do to handsome men every single time. If that woman is interested in you, if her interest is high, and you are between an eight to 10 on her scale, which most likely you are, especially when she comes to the crib, then she's gonna do these three things. Number one, the seductive stare. When you get a woman alone, I'm telling you right now, it's kind of annoying, kind of weird in my opinion, man. You know, it's weird and annoying at the same time, man, but it's all right, you know what I'm saying? I'll be watching a movie or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I'm sitting, chilling, watching a movie, or I'm sitting back on my phone, I can literally feel the girl staring at the side of my face. Now, in the back of my mind, I'm like, look, shawty, I understand you feeling me. You know what I'm saying? I understand that. But let's watch this movie first, and we're going to get to progressing to the next thing. But sometimes, man, I'm just be with you all the time. If you really have the juice, if you actually are very attractive, you are a true handsome man, a handsome man, then... The girl is going to literally be looking at you on the side of your face, literally staring at you while y'all two in the room. She's going to be staring her ass off at you. You're going to be like, damn. You know what I'm saying? One time I had to just straight up tell a girl, man, we was we was into the date. Like, we weren't even far into the date. We was maybe 30 minutes in. And the girl was just staring at me, man. And I had to just look at her and tell her, like, you looking at me like you want to do something. You know what I'm saying? And it escalated from there. Sometimes they just, that's just what you got to say, man. Sometimes that that's the thing, guys. That's the thing with this handsome man's game stuff. Stuff like this happens. Stuff like this happens. And the thing is, what I done learned is when a girl is doing all that, just go ahead and take it right there. Let her know what it is. Look her straight now. She get to doing it. Look her straight now. Tell her you looking like you want to do something. Say it real smooth and slow. Look on her eyes when you say it. And you will notice that it's finna get real you feel me because they're not looking at you for no other reason they're not finna sit here and hide it they didn't already got to the date they didn't already got to the crib and they already in the confined space where they're comfortable so they finna show you their intentions for real you know but a lot of men a lot of men ain't gonna experience this dog a lot of men is not gonna experience something like this until they get to making a lot of money you feel me but you are experiencing this you know what i'm saying so they're going to be staring at you the whole time, dog. Like, you know, when a woman give you that look and y'all are alone, guys, I'm telling you right now, that's pure burning desire. A woman doesn't do that unless, unless she has some burning desire for her. I'm telling you, she's going to give you a very seductive stare, man. She's going to give you a very seductive stare. And the thing is, you got to actually have the mind in the game to understand what she's trying to signal you to do. She's signaling you to take her. She's signaling for you to get the feeling on her, man. You got to instantly become the man in that moment. You better become the man in the hour, I'm telling you. And do what you got to do with her. Because she's sending you that signal right in your face. She's not hiding it. She's not sweeping it under the rug. 
she's letting you know like man i want you you know what i'm saying so understand that guys because if you don't she's gonna say oh well he doesn't get it and she might go show ass afterwards i'm just gonna keep it a buck when you don't take women right then and there when they want it when they fired up by you most of the time man not all the time but most of the time depending on her inner interest level and sometimes i'm gonna be real with you guys if a woman interest level is up here and you don't take her when she gives the opportunity to her interest is gonna drop down and that's when she might flake on your ass so i'm letting you know that right now she just might go see if you do that because how more blatant can she get what do you want her to do pull your stuff out and she go crazy with it like you have to take her you know what i'm saying you have to lead and lead the whole entire action i'm telling you this guys but she's going to send you signals to give you the okay to do it now let's hop straight into number two she's gonna break the touch barrier some you'll notice and it never fails man it never fails with none of them none of them like i said she can be a six a seven a eight a ten it don't matter they all the same in the mind if you lay back chilling see this is what i do i don't touch him at all i lay back chill on the couch and i talk i talk to him i vet him and i just keep talking to him and let me tell you it never fails they get the touch whether it's just a small touch it's a touch whenever they get to initiating the touch barrier you know it's getting close to that time one time man i sat very far from a girl purposely you know i got a couch in my room i sat very far purposely from this girl and you know i'm just sitting back chilling i'm got my got my arm you know on the couch like this i'm sitting back chilling she over there kind of spaced out and after a while we stopped talking you know, we was talking, having a good conversation. But you guys know our conversations have a moment of silence, you know. And out of nowhere, she just laid in my lap. Boy, I had a smile on my face. Like, yeah, it's time. Boy, I was looking at that thing. I bet I get the feeling on it. And you know what happened after that. But I'm telling you this, man. They're going to break the touch barrier, you know. Just like I had one girl over here one time. She instantly got the, you know, scooting close, got the talking to me. She's like, oh, let me know if I'm being clingy. Oh, I, I like to feel, I can't lie. Um, Let me know if that's a problem. Like, oh, I like to feel. Like, she just had to go ahead and break the touch. But I'm telling you guys, they ain't going to be able to keep their hands off of you. Because I'm telling you, when you get them alone, you get them alone, you get them comfortable, you have a nice conversation with them, it's over. It's over, guys. Women cannot hide that. Women cannot run these games on men that they are attracted to. That's why Handsome Men's game is going to continue to grow. That's why we're going to be at hundreds of thousands. Because we understand that they are going to go for that one that they find very attractive. And this is what they do when you get them alone. When you get them alone, they do these things. They're going to break that touch barrier, you know. I'm telling you this right now. Like, even I give you an example. The same girl I just told you about, where she's like, oh, I don't want to be clingy. Or, oh, I like I like to feel, you know what I'm saying? I like to touch, and um, I, I like all that. I'm like, okay, it's cool, you know what I'm saying? It, it's no big deal about it, it's cool. So, I'm laid back with it, sitting here chilling. I'm looking at the eyes. I'm very observant. Well, I said observant. I'm very observant. Very observant. So, I'm sitting there just like this on the couch, right? And... I'm looking at her eyes. I'm watching her eyes, man. I'm very. I'm telling you guys, I can spot out some stuff, man. My eyes, my eyes might be kind of bad, but I can spot out some stuff. I'm looking at her eyes. Look straight at my lap, straight at my print. I'm looking at her. Look at it. So I'm already knowing what time it is. You feel me? But this is what they're gonna do. I also had one girl. You know, she got to touching me while we was while I'm driving. I'm sitting there driving. We're just talking. You know, sometimes what I do before I take girl to the crib sometimes, but I do not recommend this. Do not do this. This is just something I did to see, you know, where this woman's head was at, where, where this girl head was at, etc. But I do not recommend do this. Bring a girl to the crib first. Do that first. But I done this first. Now, it was just a simple drive date. You know, she get in my car and we drive around and we talk, you know, and um, pretty much. I started driving real fast because y'all know I got the green charger, RT. It's not that fast, but it's fast. And um, she was like, hey, be careful now. And she started touching me. She's like, hey, hey, be careful now. My life in your hands. I'm trusting you. You know, just trying to figure out an excuse to touch me. 
And then when we get out the car, I get back to the crib. She give me a face to face hug. Yeah. So they're going to break the touch barrier, man. I'm telling you guys right now, they're they going to break the touch barrier. They can't help it. When you are on the first date with a woman, she's going to make it very obvious that she wants to get with you. They can't help it, guys. They're going to they, they're gonna break the touch barrier every time. And I'm telling you guys, when they break the touch barrier, you better act like a man. You better get the feeling on them. All this stuff you've been thinking about in your mind, oh, I'm going to do this to her. I'm going to do that to her. Oh, I can't wait to get it. You better have that same energy, buddy. When she show you that she about that. Because I'm going to be real with y'all. A lot of y'all out here be having girls. And y'all be saying what y'all going to do to them. And when that girl really apply that pressure. When y'all really alone. You going to be applying that pressure back. Yeah, you, you can say what you want to say. It's all good. We done been there. I done been there before. You know what I'm saying? I done had a, I'm talking about a thick look like one of them section eight bodies you feel me and um I, you know what i'm saying i was saying what i was gonna do to and messed around and couldn't even get it up you feel me but we all fail don't get me wrong we all fail but guess what you better not keep failing my g you get this girl it, it better not be no oh i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that nah nah nah, nah. you better do what you said you was gonna do because they gonna apply pressure some of y'all be real child me myself included i done been a victim before i ain't gonna lie to you you can't handle that pressure. A lot of handsome guys, y'all can't handle the pressure that women really come with, that women really apply when they really, you know what I'm saying, in that mode ready for you. It's overwhelming. I'm telling you, it's overwhelming. I'm keeping it buck. But when a girl breaks a touch barrier, man, you better become, you better become the massage. You better become the massage guy. You feel me? You better become some because she's giving you that signal to take her. And she's not going to hold this signal on all night unless she's spending the night, dog. And me personally, I really don't want a girl spending the night with me like that. I don't need to wake up and see you. I don't need to wake up and smell that damn breath when you wake up. You don't need to be talking to me when I wake up with you. You feel me? I, I, I really can't do that, man. Because women be thinking that thinking ass breath don't exist in the morning or something. Like, you waking up and then you talking to me? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's going on? You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like, like, be quiet, you know? Keep your mouth closed. Let's have very brief words. I barely talk when I wake up because I know it's going to get real in the morning, man, when it comes to having bad breath. Number three and final. They open up deep to you, man. I had one girl tell me. She was like, and this is the um, this, this thick old section that girl I'm talking about. This is how you guys know I'm not capped. See, I told you guys that body is a 10, man. It was a 10. I literally used to see, like, this is just a side note before I even get into what she was telling me. I used to literally see guys coming up to her and approaching. You know, after I, after she gave me her number, I just see so many guys coming up to her and approaching. Literally. I see at least three to five guys a day. Now, that's just what I see. Not in total, but I see at least three to five guys a day flirting with her. I see managers flirting with her, etc. But y'all know, you know what I'm saying? Whenever it's that bad, you know the girl that got either a bad body or a nice face. So, pretty much she was explaining to me that this guy tried to come up to her and talk to her, but he was nervous and this and that. And I was just telling her, I was giving him my little input. I was saying, man, if I see something, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to go for what I want. But I, I said, I'm going to go for what I want. But first, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to let y'all do the choosing. And, you know, she was, she was just looking at me, smiling, listening. But yeah, I was like, damn, man. You, and then you done told her you, you about the... Because she was saying that the guy came up to her and approached her, but the guy literally told her this. This is coming from a woman's mouth. She said that the guy told her that she he wanted to tell her that she was beautiful. But after he told her that, he went and threw up. So he told her, he was like, I just wanted to come over and tell you that she was beautiful. But then he went to the bathroom and threw up. That's exactly what she said that the dude told her. So women are going to open up deep to you, man. I had one girl. This is our first date. She's sitting here telling me about how she done cheated on her ex, about how she done, you know what I'm saying, just done everything, and her ex is too over overprotective. And she's just giving me the whole rundown, man, just getting very deep and telling me about everything. So women are going to give you a big dose, because I'm going to do a video on that about women and their female nature to answer men. But 
women are going to tell you, you know what I'm saying, everything that you really need to know. Because they trust handsome men more. They understand that handsome men are getting, you know what I'm saying, we're getting a lot of women. And we didn't had a lot of women show us their nature. And overall, we're just not that judgmental, you know. Especially a silent killer type like myself. They know that we, we can hold water. You know, we're not going to sit here and run our mouth and do all that. But yeah, guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button. I'll subscribe if you're new. Comment down below. And I'm out.